So being here, we thought, who played Maria on Sesame Street, why not have Orly, Shani, make us a wonderful puppet show? A wait a minute, idea. wait a minute, what's a puppet? <laughs> <laughs> yes, <That's right. laughs> this is, um, you guys, this is so much fun. And the great part about it is these really are things that we most likely have at home. Um, and so the, the, the one thing you're going to need here is a stuffed animal. Now, sure. the, the fun part about this is that you can either utilize maybe a stuffed animal that are, are your favorites of your kids, mm. unless you think... That they might get spooked by the idea of it moving, moving like some of the moving? innards. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. Or yes. or moving them. Or yeah. Moving we're gonna de so we're gonna defluff a little bit. Well, hang so on. Did, did you ever do the puppet stuff when you were on the show? I did tried you? once and I failed miserably. Oh. <laughs> I did. I had lessons from Jim Henson himself, and I just oh, couldn't my do it. We'd be a well, fly on the wall. We it have was... redemption. <laughs> yes. Coming up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're so gonna show you how to do it. It's yeah, very, okay. very easy. Another thing that you can do is go buy a, a stuffed animal specifically for this, so your children only know them as puppets. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to show you how to make them. I think we have a little bit of a disclaimer a here. Little, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, just the, the, if <laughs> the kids are in the room and you're taking, operation. we're going to take a little you know, stuffing out of these little yeah. toys, and, and we don't, and we don't want yeah. the kids. To we get don't want them to be traumatized yes. yeah. by it. So guys, what you need is a seam ripper, and you're gonna take your stuffed animal, and what you wanna do is decide, knowing your hand's gonna go inside, where you want that to be. So whether it makes sense kind of on the bottom here or across the back, that depends on the shape of your stuffed animal. So pick the seam. You can see the seam in the stuffed animal is there. So we're just gonna take our seam ripper and just open up those seams a little bit and follow the line that already exists. Okay. And then as you open it, you'll be able to continue opening it even wider and wider, but we're basically gonna just start pulling some stuffing out. I'm gonna do this one because I already opened it nice and wide. Mm -hmm. So we start taking some of the stuffing out, and what you wanna do is you wanna keep stuffing in strategic places. You wanna keep it at the little ends of the hands here, in the feet, and a Why? little bit in the face, because if you take everything out, it's just gonna like, there's no, it's just gonna collapse. So you wanna take just enough Who out. Who would've thought? Yeah. <laughs> Who would've thought? Just enough out that you can get your hand in and start controlling them, but not so much that there's no structure. Right. So okay. that's really the process of, of creating your puppet, is opening the seam, taking stuffing out, and then, and That's then, exactly you know. what Christina did to me the first day. Yeah. <laughs> Watch this. She knocked the whole batch. She knocked the stuffing <laughs> out of you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Just enough. No, just enough. That she can still keep structure in enough. control. Okay. And then to make this adorable, adorable little stage, this is just a box. So you can take a look. We happen to have this really, this box in and it of itself was really cute. But you could use an Amazon box if you happen to shop on Amazon at two in the morning. <laughs> as often as I do, <laughs> have plenty of these boxes. So take a take a cardboard box, and I spray painted it with just a matte black. There I am, just spray painting the box, making sure the whole thing mm. is covered. And then you want to cut your holes. So I got duct tape because that seems like about the right size. You could use a coffee mug, whatever you want, and just trace two circles so that you've got room for your hands. Next, an X-Acto knife or a razor blade. You're going to cut out those circles, and this is what gives us the openings to put our puppets through. Next, I went on Google and I just found an image of, if you can hold that up, yeah. And you, we, we wanted the curtain to be big enough, so we printed it large, yeah, upside down like that. So we printed it large, just like this. Would you this is Google the top. And you just Googled oh. curtains? Yeah, I just Googled it. Oh, and then you put uh, it together. Oh. Yeah, oh. and then you cut off the white, you cut off the white and you glue it. So now we've got our fancy stage curtains. Oh. And I actually didn't even glue this on. See this trim right here? All I did was put a straight pin in it. So like you could glue it, but I just put a straight pin. Oh. So it's really, really is super easy. And then you and I can come in here. We'll switch. Okay. I'm gonna give you a chance to redeem yourself. I know. <laughs> my, my, I need a third career. So let's yes. See. And, and the fanciness of this is definitely now. gonna relaunch your career. So okay. I'm very excited. All right. Oh. We've got a little bit of Wait a second. What are you doing there, Ooh, little crazy. tiger? Eee. What? Wait a second. Don't tell me I don't love you, kiddo. Oh, I do. Oh. There you go. Oh, wait. I forgot. Tigger. Look at the camera. Wait. Oh, oh tiggers. <laughs> I know. One of those things right. about tiggers is I'm the only one. How much? How much? Oh, I mean. Minus the, you know, the Lifetime <laughs> Achievement Award. Yeah, here. exactly. A couple of bucks. Again, this is all, you know, boxes we have, sure. stuffed animals we have. And you so, spray painting this at 2 o'clock in the morning, how much did that cost you? My, my pride. Your pride, my pride. perfect. <laughs>